Hello everyone and thank you for clicking on the video. Today we have something a little bit different. I'm going to provide some commentary for this video. So we're entering the northern section of Shinsaibashi. So just to give you a quick overview of the geography of Osaka. Well firstly Osaka City, Osaka Shi sits inside Osaka Prefecture, Osaka Fu, and within Osaka City, the centre of Osaka City, you have two main hub areas. So in the south, you have Namba, and in the north, you have Umeda. And if you start at Namba, then you have a road, Midasuji, which runs south to north through the centre of the city. And these shopping streets, so Shinsaibashi, Suji, runs parallel to Midasuji. So here you have a road cutting through a shopping street. So just about 20 meters to the left, you have Midasuji, the main north south road. So, Namba is the southern hub of the center of the city, and if you start from there, you can walk up through Ebisubashi Suji into Shinsaibashi Suji, and then that runs all the way to a station called Honmachi. So from Namba to Honmachi, it's roughly two kilometers. And Honmachi is where the shopping street ends. And then in Honmachi, you mainly have offices. So Honmachi is the main central business district of Osaka City. So if you were to continue walking north from Honmachi for another two kilometers, then you would reach Umeda. The southern section of Shinsaibashi is a lot more popular with international tourists and it's a lot more orderly perhaps whereas this northern section of Shinsaibashi um, looks more I guess you could say local or authentic <laughs> so walking through here I definitely feel as though I'm in Osaka as opposed to just in Japan and because it is very close to the central business district. You have lots of people coming from those offices in order to buy lunch. And outside a lot of the restaurants, you can see people selling bentos. On the left here, you have really big Daiso. If you haven't been to Japan before, Daiso is a 100 yen store for, with the sales tax, as it is at 10%, a 110 yen store. And it's actually really great, especially for buying souvenirs for people. I'd really recommend it. Obviously, a lot of the stuff is cheap and cheap in nature, not worth buying, but you can pick up a lot of really great stuff. You can see another person on the left selling bentos. A lot of the clothing stores in this section of Shinsaibashi seem to be 
aimed at more middle-aged or older people. This area is also called Minami Semba and at the top of this shopping street you also have the Semba Centre which contains lots of clothing stores but clothing stores aimed at middle aged people. So the Semba area is important historically in Osaka for trading. At present it's not so important but it remains in the cultural history of Osaka. So if you mention Semba to anyone from Osaka they'll understand what you're talking about and they'll have a connection between Semba and clothing even if they don't personally go there themselves to buy clothes. Just an Italian restaurant there on the left. Italian food's very popular in Japan. Not quite sure how authentic the Italian food is. It seems really popular in Japan when you're preparing Italian food to use tomato ketchup. So I don't know if there's any Italians listening and what you might think about that. So yeah, if you look on the left you can see it's getting pretty sunny in Osaka. So we're now into July and rainy season is drawing to a close. So the temperature is going to be heating up. That's one of the really good things about shopping in Japan is that you have these covered shopping streets so it makes it a lot more pleasant. Because not quite here but in most places you're walking in the shade and also there's some air conditioning coming from the ceilings. Also, as you're walking past the shops, you tend to get blasted by their air conditioning, which can feel very relieving. Oh, we've got a payphone there. I think that's a payphone. Maybe it wasn't. Or bentos. Fabrics are on the left. Another interesting thing about the stores here is that around March, a lot of unrelated stores, such as clothing stores, decided to purchase a load of alcohol and masks hoping to sell them and make a tidy profit but now because they're readily available in Japan they're becoming heavily discounted with people trying to get rid of them so before a lot of places were selling bottles of alcohol hand sanitizer for 2,000 yen and now they've got a load of stock which they can't get rid of and they've slashed the price down to a third of that. Definitely as we're moving towards Honmachi, moving towards the end of this portion of the shopping street it looks more and more like a suburban shopping street and less like you're in the middle of Osaka city which is very nice I think to be able to feel the local character of Osaka Oh 
Lots and lots of drug stores as well. Just before everything happened, you had new drug stores opening up, it seemed, every week. Probably more so in the southern half of Shinsaibashi, Suji. You had all these drug stores opening up, mainly focused on the Chinese tourists. Or well, just ahead, you can see some private security collecting money from a store. They always walk around like that with one holding a baton outstretched in his hand. So yeah, the drug stores were opening up to cater to the Chinese tourists. Though now, without those Chinese tourists in the city, <laughs> those drug stores are very empty and they expanded so rapidly I wonder what's going to happen to them because there isn't enough custom from Japanese people living in Japan to justify having so many locations. Bread store there on the left. Well, a bakery, I guess that's a better word for it. But there's lots of bakeries that only sell loaves of bread. That's a popular trend in Japan. Just one type of bread. And this is the end of the video. Well, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any feedback, please put it down below. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate it if you would do that. And thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed to the channel so far. And I look forward to seeing you in the comments section, hopefully. Thank you.